I think we have it. I think we just found the top luxury spot we have been to yet here in Kenya. What is going on everyone? Welcome to the channel. It is Sunday, but since Friday when we arrived at this property, we mm. have been so busy and did so many cool things that we didn't have time to film the intro. So we're just like, we'll just do it later. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so I want to start off by saying that we would not have found this place without Let's Discover Travel page. Um, they've made this possible for us and we always discover little he hidden gems around the country by their page. Yeah, so all the information you need to plan your next trip are going to be uh, down below. But now, without further ado, we are at Governor's Moogie House. Let's show you around. It's gonna be great. Welcome to our home away from home for two short nights and I already wish we were here longer. So we were just out on a small patio, but looking out over these bay windows where you have an amazing view is two like day bed loungers. And I cannot wait for tomorrow afternoon when I'm tired to just relax on these. And then you come over here, we have another bed. I guess especially if you had a child with you, that's perfect. And look at this, high ceiling, four poster bed. I, I don't think my excitement can convey enough through this. It is beautiful. I'm gonna come over here. We even have a fireplace if it gets cold at night. I'm not sure yet if we're gonna use it. I really want to, but it's not super cold yet. We've got a fridge in here, and then we have a big wardrobe there. Now let's go see the bathroom. Inside the bathroom, we have a beautiful tub, double sink, shower, and you can even open this door up and like it connects to your balcony again. My mind is blown. This place is met expectations and beyond so far. So let's go see the rest of the property. And I hear there's multiples, which we will probably check out. But it's beautiful, infinity over the edge, amazing view. So off the side of the pool area is this beautiful dining place. And I hear this is where we're gonna have our breakfast and lunch. But for now, we're gonna have supper up at the main building. Let's go see the view there. Everything on the path is just so lush, so more, so green, trees everywhere, flowers. It just really, really gives you that luxury feel. And now we've arrived at the main building. So you park out there and this is the first impression that you see. The first impression did not disappoint. So when you first come in, you have a gift shop over here that looks beautiful. We're gonna check it out shortly. And then this is kind of your main living area. And right over there, there's a bar with a bunch of drinks. So you can sit here in the fireplace and have your sundowner. Or a better spot is even out here. Actually, sidetracked, follow me. <laughs> I forgot there's a games room in here and like massive pool table. So there's that too. So the massive balcony that is off the main area, as I said in my description, it's massive, it's beautiful, and there's a small watering hole down there where apparently earlier there was also a family of elephants there. We just missed them. But this is a perfect spot to look over the conservancy and in the distance you can see the dam there. 
And we're gonna have sundowner here and it's beautiful. I'm happy. So we just spent about an hour by the fire, eating some snack, enjoying a nice glass of wine, and speaking with the different people in charge of managing this place. And if you ever come here, take the time to know them. They know so much about Kenya, wildlife, very interesting people, very nice people. And now we're gonna enjoy a beautiful supper. I have high expectation because if this place looks this good, it has to taste this good. For dinner, we have an authentic Kenyan meal, fish with Swahili sauce, some rice, kachumbari, and my personal favorite of all time, chapatis. Just came back from supper, which was delicious. Mm -hmm. Beautiful night sky outside. I like the temperature here. I've said it multiple times, but like this temperature here yeah. is perfect. It's perfect right now, yeah. yeah. Came back to her room, nice little fire, making it all romantic. Mm -hmm. uh, so now we're gonna take a shower, go to bed, early morning tomorrow, and a lot of activity. We're actually gonna I'm do excited. something tomorrow that has never been done here ever. No. We're gonna be the people launching the new thing, so I'm Brand very excited new. about it. We have actually never did anything like that, so that's gonna no. be quite unique. I'm excited. See you in the morning. Good night. So we just arrived at Mugi Dam, which is the largest private dam in the entire La Capio region. So like we said earlier, this activity is something that's brand new. Um, and actually by the time you're seeing this, it should be launched, yes. mid-February, yeah. just in case plans get messed up. Um, <laughs> so we're actually gonna go canoeing on the dam. And from what I understand, if we're lucky, we'll see. But I think the elephants can come into the dam a little bit and we'll see. It's kind of a canoe safari and yeah. we're the first people ever to do this here. Pretty excited. Let's go check it out. <laughs> This morning on the dam with the sunrise, we have two canoes. I'm with Jacob. Hi, Jacob. And Tracy's with George right in front of us. Great. <laughs> so this experience is perfect for bird watchers because you're almost guaranteed to always see different species of birds and you get actually very close to them because you don't show up with a big truck that is very loud. You're in a canoe, it's very calm, not a lot of noise. So that's kind of the perfect condition for bird watching. But on top of that, if you're lucky, you might see elephants, you might see uh, hippos. Uh, we saw a lot of buffaloes earlier. Anything else? Zebras. Zebras. Antelopes? Yeah, uh, antelopes, elands, yeah. buffaloes, a lot of them. Yeah, so we'll see if we're lucky. found the hippos. They're a little bit far, they're right there. There's three of them and apparently always those three that come and go. But uh, since we're in a canoe, we're gonna keep our distance. I think all I have to say is, wow. Um, this is something very unique to do, something that we have never done. And to no. be honest, I haven't heard of it before no. here either. it's a first. Um, it's just like the stillness, the calmness, peacefulness of it. Yeah. With sunrise this morning, yeah. I don't have any words. Yeah. Still water, birds everywhere, singing, that was amazing. sun rising. It's such, such a great experience. Yeah, you definitely have to check that out. And we even saw hippos. <laughs> and apparently they do it also at different times of the day. Yeah. Apparently around 11, if you want to do it, you have My higher chances of seeing elephants. Yeah. So, yeah. But, man, yeah. It was No great. words. It was fun. <laughs> so now we're going to go on a little safari, I think. <laughs> A 
surprise for us. So apparently first we're gonna get breakfast right by the lake on this little platform that they built. It smells amazing and the view is just outstanding. A small pancake. Ooh. Doesn't get much better than this. You know what I'm super excited about? They have maple syrup, the real one. It says product of Canada. That's the good stuff, guys. I guess Tracy has a very good sense of smell because she's right. A small pancake. There is some pancake. And you know, mm -hmm. Governor, everything is perfect at Governor. Even their papaya. You guys know how much I hate papaya, but here they're actually good somehow. Delicious. Thank you so much. Yeah, best thank you. best bush breakfast ever. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. Have a good day. The view is amazing. The food was good. Those guys are amazing, but yeah, you have to see the loo with a view. Because it's it's as good as it gets in terms of a, a bush toilet. Look at that right here. Right? Comfy seat doesn't smell because it's all open. Come on. Okay guys, our lift is here. I'm joking, we're just going in the truck. <laughs> One day we'll go in a helicopter, guys, but in the meantime, this Land Cruiser is pretty comfy. So the Nyahururu Mara Lala Highway actually cuts the Conservancy in half, but it makes it a very nice and easy to access Mugi House because basically it's new, it's paved, it's comfy, it's straight, there's no bump. So it, it's a good road because right now we are on the old one, which is a little bumpier. So something new for us to experience is actually all of the cattle here within the Movie Conservancy and like the community cows, they go through what they call like a dipping process. And that's what we see here. So they basically get treated for any bugs or anything that's on them. So it keeps the cows healthy and it's kind of powered by the tractor you can hear in the background. But yeah, it's super cool. So the community cows are going through this process every single Saturday. So if you ever come on a Saturday, well, you can ask them and come and visit. It's actually very interesting. Stop at the shop and pick up some breakfast for Tala, who you're gonna meet soon. I see her, she's coming. So Tala here was actually picked up by the Conservancy when she was a baby because she was left behind and she was raised here. When she was about five years old, they tried to release her into the wild with another group of giraffe. And then after a little bit, she decided to come back. So I guess she does like those breakfasts a lot. Thanks for the eventful morning, Jacob. <laughs> Welcome back to paradise. We are lucky enough that when we came back, we are like, oh, let's just stop by the viewing platform. And there were some elephants there. So we just came back to the room. Tracy went to bed for a little nap, but uh, I'm not an afternoon napper whatsoever. Um, so I just came outside on our little patio. The amount of birds, you guys can probably hear them. It is unbelievable. I just had one of those big birds with the big orange beak, like sitting on a chair, like outside. It's just crazy. So many like blue birds and they're just everywhere. If you're a bird watcher, this is the spot for you. You know it's a good nap when you have so much energy and sleep lines on your face. That was a really good nap. Now let's go eat some food.
So delicious lunch, and if you think that our day cannot get more exciting after, after the canoe this morning, a beautiful breakfast on that platform overlooking the Mugi Dam, and then feeding a giraffe, and then all the food, well, it's about to get better. But first, let's go for a little swim. Woo. That was very nice and refreshing and now we have six minutes to change and be back at the main reception for the rest of our adventures. Let's go! On to more activities! Tracy, that purse is perfect for safaris. <laughs> Not exactly a safari purse, but I have to use it because I love it. I forgive you because uh, it's a Disney one. <laughs> She's all refreshed. I heard that there's a, there's a Mugi 5, right? Yes. What are the Mugi 5? I know there's the Gravy Zebra. Yeah. This is a Gravy Zebra. Um, a a Rich Desert Giraffe. A Oryx. A Kudu. And a Genaruk. But it's rare to see the Genaruks here. So the Mugi Conservancy, just like Old Pujeta, they have a canine unit part of the entire poaching section and we're gonna go train with them this afternoon. So like last time, I'm gonna go hide and David's gonna see if he can find me with the dogs. I don't know if you guys uh, remember, but the last time we did that was in Old Pujeta, also with Durin Thai poaching unit. And those dogs were really fast. They, they made me run quite a bit, so we'll see if this one is as fast. Tracy left her sweater behind and then the dog found it, got the smell and I think he knows exactly where he's going now. Impressive dog, no hesitation, straight to the target. <laughs> now the harness is off, that means work is done for the day. Yeah. Thanks for finding my wife. <laughs> Thank you so much, have a good night. That was a quick little training with the canine unit. It was super fun, highly suggested. If you ever want to do it and you come to Governor's, just ask your guide and they'll organize it for you. Now let's go find some animals. for a little sundown. Okay, so that was a nice little sundowner. Now we're gonna go back to the camp. And Tracy, I think tonight we should dress up. You know, it's, it's kind of the place that we you need to dress up for at least one yeah. supper. We haven't dressed up, dressed up in a while. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, and something worth mentioning, every kind of safari truck normally they have those outlets, but they never work. But this outlet actually works. It's the first time I go on a safari and the outlet actually works. It might seem insignificant, but people like us with a lot of tech, it's very, very nice. Just got a call that there's lion by the water hole, so now we're flying there. Just found a lion. It's a beautiful male. At first I couldn't film it because it's too dark, but Jacob has a, a pretty powerful spotlight, so 
But can we just add to this that the lion is actually at the watering hole at the camp? Yeah. So, yeah. The camp is right <laughs> behind us. I see it. <laughs> There's people looking up on the deck, actually. <laughs> home sweet home. Yeah. Oh. Hi. Hi. What a great afternoon this was. And yes, we are filming in the bathroom because it's a nice bathroom. It's really nice. So if you want to see a ton of animals, yes, the Masamara is probably a better location for you. Governor has a camp there. Mm -hmm. um, but if you want like- Activities. Activities, but like if you want to go and game drives where it's like quiet, you're alone, peace of mind and everything. And like unique. This is it. It's mm -hmm. definitely more unique here. Yeah, because barely, we, we didn't see another truck. We saw one of Governor's yeah. truck once. That is it. Yeah. So that is something that I really appreciate where when you go in the Mara, there's a lion, there's 17 trucks there. So depends what you want to do, but <laughs> we really enjoy it here. Now let's dress up. Back to the main lodge. And if you ask me, even though there's a nice pool and nice everything and nice room, this is my favorite part, it's just stunning. So tonight we thought we were gonna eat in the main dining room, but they prepared the games room for us and we even have a fire here. I'm happy, my happy place. So we just came back from another great supper and something that we really appreciate is that every dinner there's always like a little Swahili spin. Yeah, so like our first dinner that we had was like a uh, fish with Swahili sauce yeah. and the one today was like lamb but more like stewed lamb like you find here. And yesterday we had chapatis too. Oh yeah, yeah. Very important. Yeah. So it's just kind of nice because if you come from the international side you are still getting a taste of what some of the cuisine can yeah, be here. Exactly. Spin off. <laughs> so that's very cool. Yeah. Now we're gonna go to bed because another early morning tomorrow. I mean, it's great, but I'm tired. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Tracy, too. Good morning. So, one last game drive, and don't go anywhere because we still have the chance, maybe slim, to see some very rare animals that we have never seen before. Morning. Morning. That was pretty cool. We spotted some lions from a far, far away. Then as we approached, we noticed a few zebras there and one of the lioness was really interested. She was looking at those zebras like Tracy looks at a croissant and she actually hid the zebras, didn't see her at all and the zebras were actually walking towards her and then finally she did try to catch one but the zebra spotted them last second. We just found the rest of the pride. That is the biggest pride in this conservancy. There's 17 lions including nine cubs right now. So this is my first time seeing a striped hyena, but sadly the lion saw it before me and since it's an enemy, they killed it. Not to eat it, just because it's an enemy. Thank you. Thank you. So after seeing the lion trying to get some morning zebra, it is our turn to go <laughs> hunt for breakfast and hopefully we're gonna be a little bit more lucky than them. Okay, so I got you a mini pancake. Squishing, squish, squishing, I'm oh, squishing. This thing is like the comfiest oh, thing it's ever. so comfy. <laughs> How was it? How did you love it? I don't know where to start. So Accommodation to and everything. Accommodations are literally as good as it gets. The yeah. food was good. The service is exceptional. Management is so nice. So nice. Overall, 10 out of 10 experience. Yes. Highly, highly suggested. We really hope to be able to go visit more of the governor's property because yeah. like we are hooked. Oh, 100%, yeah. So, <laughs> once again, thanks to Governor for having us. Thanks a lot to Let's Discover Travel yes. for organizing this perfect trip. So, yeah. make sure to check them out. All their information is going to be down below, and they'll set you up with your next trip, adventure, whatever you want. 
<laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> See you guys in the next one.